Montana won the toss and deferred. And Andre Weathers watches this one roll into the end zone. Revere on the pitch. It's bobbled, but Myers has it. To the 40, Mark Myers. To the 25, Myers to the 20. He's 10. He's dragged down at the seven yard line by Calvin Coleman. My goodness. And it's first and goal. Straight ahead is Adrian Peterson. Did he bobble the ball? Montana felt they had it. The officials say he was down. Revere is stopped at the one yard line. Again, the ball came loose, Rod Gilmore. And again, the officials say it was, a, it was down on contact. Georgia Southern. Straight ahead. And again, the ball is loose. Montana says they have it. It's in the end zone. If Georgia Southern's got it, it's a touchdown. If Montana has it, it's a touchback. Oh, Rich, I thought they were trying to get it to Adrian Peterson on the option. And when you do the option, you put the full the, the football into the fullback's stomach and you wait to read contact before taking it out. Touchdown, Georgia Southern, and Montana is livid. Here's a look. Ball loose. Rod yeah, Gilmore, yeah, that, that never made it over the end zone. Now the question is, was it recovered by Georgia Southern? Well, the ball was clearly on the ground. They had to rule that it was recovered by a Georgia Southern player. Now flags go down as Montana scrambling around for the extra point. And again, Rich, when you talk about the option, again, the quarterback has to stick the ball into the fullback, and in this case, Peterson's stomach, and then pull it out if he doesn't want him to have it. Good snap. Delay. Illegal substitution. 12 players on the field against the defense in the distance. Keep your eye on Peterson number three and the exchange here. The ball never cleanly in. You see Revere with the left hand trying to figure out if he's going to get in there or not. Peterson clearly does not have the ball. It is a fumble. Had to be recovered by Georgia Southern. And you can see the wind is forcing Georgia Southern to hold on the kickoff. Tanner Hancock from Montana returns it to the 23-yard line. Let's go down below to Dave Ryan. Well, there is the first team, one double-A All-American quarterback this year. And his Grizzlies put it in play. Miller with time. Fires it out to T.J. Oakers. And Oakers is across the 35, out to the 36-yard. On first and 10, Miller again with time. This one is over the hands of his tight end. Second down and 10. Long count from Miller, movement and flags. Miller with time to the sidelines. Wide open is Atu Molden. Molden is into Georgia. First down and 10. Not a lot of man coverage from Georgia Southern today against the spread attack. And there's Humphrey, the kid from Eagle River, Alaska, with his first carry. Inside the 40, a seven-yard pickup. Uh, Rich, two things happening right here. You know, you got the win, which is why they came out and threw the ball, but it's really the power game they're going to get. Second down and three. The motion is Hancock. Miller, the former BYU kicker. Little screen pass. Humphrey. Yo, Humphrey. Humphrey. And he Yo, Yo, Humphrey on his way down the field. Humphrey has had quite a year this year. Two tight end set for Montana. And Humphrey to the 20. Humphrey, he's 10. Flags go down. And he is out of bounds at the six yard line. Discussion about this. Inadvertent flag, they'll pick it up. First possession. 
Miller, not real mobile, to the corner, and it's incomplete. They've played in all kinds of conditions, as you would expect this year. Humphrey slips, still he has a hole, and still with a flag coming down, he's down to the four-yard line. Oh, Rich, you saw Humphrey go down there as he tried to do the counter step, starting one way at the penalty. Looked like it was a hold on Montana. Yep, it was a hold. They'll bring it back to the 14. Second down and goal still. Miller. Throwing. It's intercepted. Picked off. Georgia Southern's Michael Ward has the football. And he's down at the two-yard line. You know, that is just a difficult, difficult play. I mean, Drew Miller had time to throw that ball away. And Michael Ward is sitting right in the center watching his eyes. Miller wants to go outside, and then when he came back, he's got nobody open there. He's got no chance to complete that pass, Rich. And that's just panicking under pressure, trying to make something happen. Georgia Southern with the lead and the ball, but backed up against their end zone. And remember, they had real problems hanging on to the ball in their first possession. Peterson was popped at the four-yard line. Option, this is Revere. And Jerry Revere's got a first down and more. He's across the 15, and out runs the option. Revere doesn't have to make the choices or the decisions as there's another pitch. Andre Weathers on the outside. There goes Andre Weathers. Weathers knocked out of bounds. Calvin Coleman caught him. Who knows how to run with the guys from the south. Niceville, Florida. Revere. He's dropped back of the third half. They've taken Peterson out of the game so far, but right. not Revere. Absolutely. And that is Peterson straight ahead, and Montana hammers him. Kick those Rodneys all over the place. Third huh? down. Revere's in trouble and he goes down. He's caught. Side. When you run the spread option, you don't have guys to protect the quarterback. A high kick, and it looks like Georgia Southern will have a chance to down this one very well. Montana will start this drive from almost the exact same spot. And Montana is backed up near their end zone now. Johansi Humphrey. Takes the handoff, and Humphrey, strong individual, carries Robert LeBlanc out across the 10 yard line. <laughs> you never know. You gotta show a little blood out there. You got rain, you need blood. Montana would like points. They had a nice drive that resulted in the turnover right on the goal line. Here's Humphrey again, and he rips off another eight yards out to the 19 yard line. The, the rain has kind of led up. But you can see that the field is getting chewed up. It wasn't great after the warm-ups. It's got a lot worse, especially toward the batteries and the middle of the field, really getting chewed up out here. Yeah, Dave, they had a lot of rain uh, this week as well. Georgia Southern has a, has a history of rain and tough footing on this field as Humphrey is over to the 24-yard line. Two years and five. Miller over the middle, and it's deflected and broken up. A nice play by David Young, the strong safety. Well, you know, Georgia Southern is just Kawaki Thomas and your buddy, Earthwind Morlins. Oh, he's got reasons to play in the play. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a shining star. Third uh, down and five. Miller sort of goes side saddle behind center. Throwing on the run. It's caught, but not enough for the first down. Staring down one receiver, and you're saying, oh, that's where he's going. I'm going with him. Where does he throw the ball? Right out there. Montana's first punt. Mike Reedy. And it's a wobbler picked up by Anthony Williams. And Williams is out to the 39-yard line. They'll mark him at the 40. Georgia Southern, a 7-0 lead over Montana. Paul Johnson, the head coach, says the option offense can be exciting. He goes back to that run last year by Adrian Peterson. If, if you've watched him play throughout his career, he does those things so often uh, that, uh, you know, it didn't seem to me like it was anything special until I got, you know, out of the game and got to watch it on tape. But uh, he's, a, he's a very special guy, and, and when he does those things, it, nothing surprises me that he does. Ron Gilmore, he hasn't surprised Montana, though, today. 
Well, no, they're focusing their defense on him. Their inside guys are really pinching or angling towards the inside so that he doesn't do it. But this is what he did last year in the championship game that we saw. Watch him at the end here. He says, I don't want you near me. Get off me. I got places to go. <laughs> He's a runner. That was one of the plays of the year in college football. And it almost won an SP. And now Rivera swallowed up. And Montana really smelled out. And if Georgia Southern's going to throw it, you would think this is the down. Third and long, Revere's throw is caught. Chris Johnson, a sliding catch. He's very close to the first down. Georgia Southern is going for it on fourth. And less than a yard. Peterson. Right near midfield. We'll find out. Peterson the lone setback. Joined by Weathers. Now joined by Myers. And Revere calls a timeout. Were they trying to draw Montana offside? Looks like it. Paul Johnson will talk it over with his quarterback. And the Eagles with the ball faced with fourth and one. Just shy of midfield. That call. We'll go for it. You that don't call. like it. Got a kick. Long count. Revere. Straight ahead. It looks like he has it. He does. First down. I still don't like it. You know why? If you're the defending champs and you've dominated this ball game, you know, unless you're Adrian Peterson, look at that graphic, only four yards carrying, 131 for the rest of the team. But if you've dominated this game, act like the champion, act like you've been here, kick the ball and keep the mental edge in the ball game. Don't act like you're somewhat desperate right now. Don't give Montana a chance to, to grab a, a toehold, is what you're saying? Oh, he's open. He's got it. He's got Johnson wide open. He will walk in the end zone. 49 yards. You gotta like that, Rod Gilmore. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. That's why you don't wear a coach's headset. <laughs> <laughs> now that is just like a champion, oh, wouldn't you say, Rob? Wait until he puts on the tape and heard that I second guessed him. He may have heard it from the start. Option pass. They fake the corner, bit on it, and Johnson has nobody around. There's a corner out there who has a job to play man-to-man -man coverage. He doesn't. He gives it up. Good night. Now uh, you know who's going to kick out of that? Whoa, no one's going to kick out of this. Scott Shelton is down, and Georgia Southern misses the opportunity for a point. Uh, Reese Davis doesn't have to worry about me going into coaching. Looks like Montana could be in trouble with this offense. There are a lot of people that have had trouble with this offense for a long time. Tanner Hancock. This is Hancock, and there goes Hancock. Tanner Hancock inside Georgia Southern territory to the 44-yard line. Run a good route, get open that, you know, Drew's going to put the ball on the money. So, I mean, both on and off the field, I think we work, um, you know, really well together. We have a great relationship in both places. And, uh, it's a guy I'm going to miss, man. I'm going to miss playing with him. I'm going to miss Speaking of great relationships, you know, well with him for sure. he was talking about the relationship between Drew Miller, the quarterback, and himself. And Ryan Haddon. Wind out of you. That's a two deep coverage. The two safeties are coming back to the middle to wipe up plays like that. And you just got to be a tough guy and hang in there and catch the ball. Two time today. First and 10 from the 23. Humphrey, Gino Tutera. Not looking at this now. Will he remain patient on the second and eight? Jimmy Ferris did not remain on the sideline. He's back in the ball game. On second down. Miller. In trouble, and he goes down. If there's a knock on Drew Miller, it's that he's not real mobile, and he has trouble avoiding a. And John Edwards is in the ball game for Montana. Edwards swings it out to Humphrey, trying to get inside the 20. He's 16 of 25, five of eight from this range. Good, strong kick, and Montana has three points. Raw, a little different look for Georgia Southern from this quarterback. Not the same pocket passer, but you're right. They'll, they'll change that game plan a little bit. Snyder's kick is a good, strong one. And Andre Weathers. Out to the 19-yard line. Adrian Peterson not getting the ball here. Weathers on the pitch. All of a sudden, Rock. 
Second down. Revere's going to throw it over the middle. Broken up nicely. Flags down. Vince Hunts. And that's why they come back and throw the pass over the middle. 15 yards on. They tell me that. This is a crew from the MEAC. And so far, they've done a pretty good job. Straight ahead goes Georgia Southern. Rich and Rodney wondering what the problem is with Adrian Peterson not having a big game so far. He's wearing a very bulky brace on his left elbow. It's a hyperextended elbow he suffered during the regular season. He told us it wasn't going to bother him too much, but today he's having some problems with it, guys. And finally, he breaks loose. And you can see him land on that elbow. He, you know, people say, well, well, how should an elbow affect a running back? A guy has just play. 127 of 135 rush yards have come on first down. He just did that on that last play. The first time he's busted loose today. And Revere and Peterson get swamped. Good penetration by the Montana defensive front. And the more you see the pressure inside, which the more you figure outside options going to be there. Outside option, Revere caught from behind and dropped at the 48 yard. I'll beat Boomer this time. <laughs> Third down and long. Georgia Southern one of three on third down. Rivera, a straight drop. That's rare. And he throws deep. And it's overthrown. There's a flag down. You got it. And that's not a penalty. To throw the football. You know, Georgia Southern just wins with it. Yeah, but they win championships yep. with it. Drop pitch. A lot of room to go. And Peterson. Right on the sticks, very Alachua, Florida. Is his hometown. Revere got it to Peterson again. Bam! Bam! <laughs> and Rich, and again, <laughs> we talk about yards after contact. And if you didn't see the tape last year in the championship game when he threw guys off of him, he said, Watch me today. I don't want guys in my way. You know something? If you're Anthony Brown, you don't know you want to be there. I mean, if you're going to bring it, you better bring it when you get in front of Adrian Peterson. Peterson straight ahead to the 27-yard line. All right, it's the option, and my question was, why isn't successful at the Division I level? Paul Johnson feels it would be successful. You know, everybody thinks that uh, if you want to be exciting and you want to have big plays, you have to throw the ball and, and do those kind of things. Uh, a couple years ago, we had uh, the number one ranked passing team in the country in our league. And we did a breakdown at the end of the season. We had twice as many plays of over 25 yards than they did. But if you ask somebody that on the street, you know, they think that when you say option football, you think four yards in a cloud of dust. So it's, uh, I think there's a uh, misconception out there about it. And it may not be glamorous enough for everybody. Remember, they picked the last one up when Peterson went 12 yards. Peterson straight ahead to the 27-yard line. And straight up there. His long this year is 39. This is 45. Offense played well on the first drive, but they've slowed since then. And they'll keep it on the ground. Ben Drinkwater, the senior out of Great Falls. Game, so John Edwards takes over the rest of the way. As we know, he offers a little more mobility, try to get that elusive rush against him in the uh, Montana offense. And he's 4-0 and as a relief pitcher. And here's a look at some of his mobility. And Edwards scampers to the sideline and dives out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Nine-yard pickup. Jason Neese made the stop. Well, it's important for him to make. He's got the side saddle look going. Very close up. On the draw, this is Drinkwater. And Drinkwater is Dickie V, huh? Dickie V was on today. He was, uh, he was in full glory today. Edwards in a hurry, and he dumps it to Jimmy Ferris. It's incomplete. You talk a little smack to him before the ball game, he'll talk it right back. Team game of the year, you're coaching it, you're playing it, you play with a little blood. John Edwards, why the side saddle, Rod? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Tanner Hancock dropped. 
And 13. Edwards. High and outside. The conversion today. Edwards with time. He ran out of it. The ball was the flat strength where you can't knock me down. He just takes him outside with his speed. Mike Reedy to punt away. Looking for the corner. And instead, he gets the Georgia Southern pep squad. They'll mark it at the 24. 13 <laughs> 3. Montana's defense has made some stops, but Paul Johnson's spread option, which has been dominant in the playoffs, five national championships. Johnson won his first last year. He didn't jump, he sprinted. <laughs> he came out of the block like a sprinter. The gun goes, he's off. Remember the movie MASH? <laughs> I do. <laughs> First and 15. And we're here. Out to the 30. Lost the ball and it squirts out of bounds, but they'll bring it back to the 30 yard line that is short of the first down. And you see, Montana has not had success playing their defense that way. And when I say that way, it's easy to go out and get the pitch. Second down, five. I like that football talk. I like that serious football talk. Of course, you never had to face the option, did you? Oh, nice hit. Whoa. Third down and five. Revere puts it up, hit, and dropped. It's incomplete. Back here and run your free safety in from the outside. Have him come help you and look at all the distance that Trey Young covers. That's playing option football. And, Rich, I saw Oklahoma do it. They killed us with it back in the old, the old days. All right, so you did face the yeah. option when you were covering guys at the Stanford. Stopped is T. Colts that play Miami this weekend. You must be one proud papa with all these athletes in your family. Uh, yes, I'm real proud of the, uh, what the guys and young lady have done. Uh, the most important thing is they stay. Well, is he going to be the next AP at Georgia Southern? Well, we hope until we, he's just like Mike and Adrian, you haven't decided what school he's going to attend. Uh, but wherever, you know, we just hope the law that he pan out like this. Bring the kids around. Montana needs one yard for a first down. Humphrey over the left side, very close to it. Looks like he's got it. Well, we've talked a lot about Peterson. Johansi Humphrey had a good first series. These two running backs are probably in the furthest spots on the map of the United States. One is from Florida, one is from Alaska. And the one from Alaska did not make it into the rain. And into the, not the rain, the wind. The wind is blowing into Edwards' face right now. It makes it tougher to throw the football down the field. Edwards is two of six in relief of Drew Miller, who's out for the game. This one complete and caught by Humphrey. A big hit, and Humphrey fights his way to the stick. He's right on the line. Michael Youngblood made the stop for Drew. Backup quarterback, wind in his face. Think about making a big play. Montana has yet to throw the ball deep today. And they're looking right into the wind right now. Humphrey. And your Humphrey rolls to the 49-yard line. On the field, they, they could be down by a couple more scores here. Edwards, lots of time, throws it short, and it's incomplete. Tanner Hancock was the intended receiver. Well, there you go. I mean, you could see he couldn't get the ball in. Edwards has got to be careful here, putting the ball up in this situation. Ferris in motion, third down five. Edwards scrambling, throwing, and his intended receiver, Ben Drinkwater, Delaware was on the road. Yeah, they, they had a good year. They lost to Georgia to open the season and lost to Furman late in the season without Peterson. That's the 29-yard line, and water prevention. Yeah, no crying, though. No, there's no crying in Chad Newton. Or in one double-A football, for that matter. Revere throwing on the run, and it's caught by Chris Johnson, who is loose. He's 40. Johnson slips and goes down at the 31-yard line. You can't take the chance. DP Parker took the chance there. Not a good decision. It's almost a forward pass to Adrian Peterson, who's knocked down at the 24-yard line. That is four plays over 30 yards now by Georgia Southern. Well, it's a big play. I mean, you know, you, you heard... Johnson talk about it. Peterson. 
Adrian Peterson to the 15 yard line is a good inside runner. And you see the shiftiness, and then when he gets contact, he's delivering a blow. You see the splits there, and watch him. He's got the shifty feet, finds it, runs right through arm tackles, and can deliver a blow against the guys in the secondary. Revere pitches it forward, and Peterson slides out of bounds. You know, this guy, Peterson, is going to be a Heisman. Yeah, look at this. 23 yards after contact. I told you the guy doesn't go down when you hit him. Revere is hit, and he goes down, but not after a nice pickup. Clock continues to roll. One more play right here. This is it for them. This one play right now, Rich. Montana has three timeouts. Georgia Southern two left. Third down one. And Revere will burn a timeout. Montana's got to be thinking Peterson inside and the quarterback. It's Peterson inside and he falls forward. He's got the first down. They'll stop the clock to move the chip. Appalachian State and they had a goal line stand that allowed the game to get into overtime. They have to keep them out of the end zone again right now. One timeout left for Georgia Southern. Revere. Clock rolls. Andy Pedic from behind. He does best when he can use his speed. Peterson up and in. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. You know, sometimes, Rich, there is not a hole. And when there's not a hole, you have to create one. And Adrian Peterson created the lane, the hole to give himself a touchdown. Nothing there. Look at this. You'll see him take off. There's nowhere to go. Freezer right there. There is no hole there. There's only a goal line. And Adrian Peterson will find it. He goes up over and uses his power to get the touchdown. Georgia Southern mishandled the snap earlier. This one handled cleanly in the NFL. Uh, he told me yesterday, nah, he's going to be back next year. He do this. He is a prospect. Out of his end zone comes Tanner Hancock. He had a long return earlier, and Tanner Hancock is all the way out to the 46-yard line. Now let's see. It's probably just going to result in a pick because that wind's going to hold it up. Edwards caught, and that's Ferris. And Ferris has got a seam. He tries to get to the sideline to the 40. Montana burns a timeout with 15 seconds left. Twenty to three now. Georgia Southern on top of Montana. They don't need more than ten yards to get in field goal range with the wind blowing in their face. Edwards going to scramble, and Edwards trying to get to the sideline. He does. It's out of bounds. Clock stops, but there's only eight seconds left. But does he butt the head again at halftime to get the blood started again? I don't know. John Edwards now with eight seconds left. Montana trying to make something of this. They'll throw it over the middle and throw it incomplete. With two seconds left. You're looking at a 47-yard field goal into the wind. But Rod, he's, he's looking at about a 20-mile-an-hour wind in his face. It's pretty stiff right now. This would be an incredible kick. And it's a, a block, although it, it came in low and slow. Georgia Southern blocks it. You can return this. And the Eagles, Ryan Haddon, is having fun running around the field. The first half has come to a close, and it's a tough first half for the Montana Grizzlies. 73 yards on the ground for Peterson. He was our focal point, and he's been the focal point of the Montana defense. But that emphasis has allowed Georgia Southern a lot of big plays in other areas. Montana gets the football, but not the wind to start this half. Atu Molden is out to the 28-yard line. Let's check in with Dave Ryan. Right up. All right, Rich. It's raining a lot harder, and the coach told me a moment ago it's going to be a big factor in the second half. Montana on the ground to start with. Johansi, that hurt them emotionally, and they really haven't bounced back from that yet behind Johnny Edwards. A sprained knee is the injury that is knocked Drew Miller out of the game, and John Edwards 
little inside screen. We haven't seen that much at all, and Atu Molden is out across the 40, and that's really a staple of Montier's ride, so to speak. First and 10, Montana, their own 40. And Humphrey out to the 48-yard line. Montana showing signs of life right now. Eight yards on your own sometimes. What a huge boost it would be for Montana to come out of the locker room and get some points. And they're going against the wind. Edwards in trouble, and he's going down. Freddie Pesqueda, along with Carlton Ogles. Third down, seven. Edwards. Lots of time and a man open. It's Humphrey, and Humphrey's got a first down and more. Johansi Humphrey to the 41-yard line. To make this guy miss because he slips. The bad field helps him out there, gets the first down. From the 41, Humphrey hit hard by Pescada. The sophomore, you have to go too far. Edwards deflected and incomplete. There you go. Look at that. They have the wind blowing, facing it, the rain coming down. Edwards, little dump off. Humphrey trying to make something out of that. He was stuck. It was on the nose and on the side. Now it's at the upper lip, too. It's John Pate. Montana trying to down this. They will. Right at the three-yard line. Make it the two. Back in Chattanooga, Georgia Southern football. Rain coming down even harder. Adrian Peterson for maybe a yard. He's all over the restaurant. It's about a four and a half, five hour drive from Statesboro, Georgia here to Chattanooga. And they've got a lot of folks here. The pitch is stopped down at the five yard line. Mark Myers stopped by Damon Parker. Well, it's been a good play for them. And a pair of sophomores on this offensive line. Third down. Peterson straight ahead and Montana stops him and Georgia Southern in the rain championship tournament 16 teams started the playoffs three weeks ago these two are playing for the national title and the punt is away with the wind at his back Scott Shelton with a nice kick T.J. Oakers in a rainstorm is down to the fourth guys it is very tough to see to hear just about anything down here the conditions are worsening as Rodney said, the largest raindrops I've ever seen or experienced. It's tough for the players to concentrate down here. How about you, Rhino? You staying dry? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying the best I can, guys. <laughs> Flag down. You guys, right? <laughs> First down, Montana. Edwards. Little screen. That was the right call, but another look. That's pressure. I think Edwards had a little more time than he thought, though. Yeah, you're right. He did. Second down, drink water. Lost the ball, picked up by Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern has the football. Nick Kearns. It's been a magical year for Montana. Things have gone their way up until today. Well, you know, a good indication of that, Rod, is it just stopped the downpour right after they oh, lost oh, the ball. Oh, man. Revere throwing deep. Chris Johnson was leveled. Safety's working together. Now Parker comes in. He's a little guy, but he delivers the blow. And that makes it hold up. But Coleman saves the day deep. Bam! That's delivering it. <laughs> I want to suit up now. <laughs> you have no oh, eligibility. No, 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 no. You got rain, you got mud, you got big hits. Revere. Montana's doing a nice job on that option now. Justin Brannon. I tell you, Coleman has played very, very big for Montana in that secondary. Peterson going nowhere, and Montana's defense holds. Oh, Mont averaging 42 yards a kick today. And he gets away a, a gorgeous kick. Advancing blow. T.J. Oley, this team could make the one NCAA championship and get here to Tennessee, and guys, sure enough, they did it. And all they did was go out and lose their first game of the season, right? Now they, the natives have... Second down and 10.
on the ground with Johansi Humphrey. Montana in the mid 80s, his old friends helping him out. <laughs> in more way than one, Ed Edwards with a throw and it's caught by Molden. Molden's out to the 38. And Joe Glenn stayed in Missoula and worked for that beverage distributorship while Don Reed came in and built this program and got them to national prominence. Reed was a, a great uh, passing coach. He came from Oregon where he tutored guys like Dan Fouts and Norv Turner. And in Don Reed's tenure, uh, Montana, all he did was build that program into national prominence and won two national championships there. And guess what? They invited him back. Humphrey, it's deflected or fumbled and it rolls out of bounds. And out of the hands of Spencer Frederick. He won double A for a long time. Is being used a lot in one A now. Well, this stuff used to be revolutionary. Now it's kind of not mundane, but every day. The throw is caught on the sidelines by T.J. Oakers. That's the best ball that. J but the Grizz have come out here. They've played well defensively, and they're moving the football right now. For a third play over 15 yards for them. They need a couple more like that. Flags are down, and so is Johansi Humphrey. The senior out of Sarasota, offside, Georgia Southern. You must owe Golick money. I'm trying to stay out of his way. I don't want him upset with me. That's a 35-yard line. First down and five. Quick throw to the sidelines, and it's caught by Fuck. At the Georgia Southern 32-yard line. Edwards is hit on four straight now. Setting up the screen. And he paid for it. LeVar Rainey, the senior, came up from his corner spot. And that might have been the color that humped in the level of the play. Big third down now. Montana, four of nine on third down. And Humphrey to the 30. He's very close. And if he gets a good spot here, they'll have it. Remember, Montana will have the wind at their back. When they get to the fourth quarter, Ferris has got to come up with the ball. He's got to catch it and run with it. Or he's got to get a fade route and make a catch in the end zone. But Tenth play of the drive. Edwards caught. Tanner Hancock in traffic. And Montana moves the sticks. Over the ball right on time. They delivered that nicely. So here comes the pressure. And shotgun. Screen to Molden. Breaks a tackle. Molden is in the end zone. Touchdown, Montana. 17 yards for Atu Molden, the junior out of Sacramento, California. Now, Rich, you could almost see it coming with Montana. I was right outside the locker room at halftime. They had a lot of momentum in there, yelling and screaming. Didn't feel like they were, despite the fact, trailing by 17 out of this game by any means. They have the confidence in John Edwards, as Joe Glenn told us. Short kick is taken by Georgia Southern and returned out to the 37-yard line. And in the second half that they gave up in the first half. Montana offense regrouping on the sideline while Georgia Southern's offense takes over. A little reverse look to Chris Johnson. Montana had it smelled out, and Johnson goes down. Yeah, that's a great. Revere. Johnson makes the catch, and he fights his way for the first down. Great effort by Chris Johnson. Away. Paul Johnson. Watching his quarterback fumble the ball. Now, Remember, Georgia Southern in their first drive put it on the floor a couple of times, but did not lose it. In fact, they had a number one most of the season. Montana ended the season number one after Georgia Southern stumbled late in the year. Revere, and he's close. Oh, oh, Trey Young, I got to tell you. I mean, Trey Young sitting back up and makes a tackle. That's a great job. Young, the sophomore out of San Diego. Third down. Revere, sliding, throwing. Man open, and he overthrew Derek Owens. The rain has restarted. That time, they weren't able to hit it. That's a good job out of Montana. 
Montana defense has been outstanding in the third quarter. Georgia Southern to kick. Shelton. And a, a wild, I thought that was a fair catch. It was. T.J. Oker signaled a fair catch, and then he was wiped out. Rod, that's going to be a 15-yard penalty. You know, sometimes you don't see it. You know, sometimes a guy... Montana ball now. The Grizzlies went 79 yards on 11 plays in their last drive. They're into the win for only a minute more here. Humphrey. I'm surprised we haven't had more turnovers in these conditions. Well, and actually, we've had more turnovers out of Montana. Mm -hmm. And Montana struggled with keeping the ball. Two turnovers here. Georgia Southern's on second and five. Hancock on a reverse. There's a flag down. Hancock is going to scamper his way into Georgia Southern territory. I think Montana moves. It'll cost Montana a big gain and five yards, 33 yards. John Edwards, the super sub, in for the injured Drew Miller. Inside screen, they go right back to Hancock, and Hancock leaps his way out to the 34-yard line. Montana down 20 to three, scored on their last possession, faced with third and short, John Edwards. Throwing on the run, it's tipped and incomplete. And Montana will be forced to punt. John Edwards in the second half, now 11 of 15. Yeah, and before that last incompletion, he had completed eight in a Boy, for them to come out and get a touchdown and not give up any points yeah. when they did not have the win. Whoa, it's a fake. Montana's faked it, and they'll pick up the first down. And more. John Fitzgerald, he'll score! 65 yards! I don't believe it! Hunchberger. And Rich, it was botched at the beginning. The fake was botched, but Hunchberger saved it. Hunchberger, the strong safety on a fake punt, goes length to the field. Montana misses another extra point. Are you kidding me? Are you ready to 15? You make the fake punt, but you blow the PAT. And they almost blew this. Watch the snap. Huntsberger's right there. Look at it. It's on the ground. It's on the ground, and Georgia Southern doesn't recognize it. Good job out of him. He hustles, but he doesn't rush himself, picks it up, and then it's just off to the races. But the ball was on the ground for Vince Huntsberger. You know, good fake here, but the ball is now on the ground, Rich, and Huntsberger is the only one who knows it. I mean, the field helps him there. He doesn't have blazing speed, but he certainly uses what he has to get by the Georgia Southern special team. Monty team. They got to go for two from here on out because they just can't make any kicks. Chris Snyder has missed a couple of extra points. And Montana with a good hit on Weathers on the return. But he had to make up for it. He did a nice job fielding it, much like a shortstop with a short hop, getting it up and getting it going. And Peterson with the carry to the 26-yard line. Well, guys, we've been trying to explain the lack of really big numbers and output offensively for Adrian Peterson in this game. Elbow, he's not close to 100% out there, guys. Yeah, but you're not going to get him out of that ball game, Dave. Revere. Drops the ball! It's loose! Montana's got it! Can Revere get it back? Montana's got it! Oh, wow! <laughs> On the 
the ground, and Montana recovers. And Revere lost the ball out of his hands. A wet ball. We talked about the elements. A wet ball. He tried to pitch late. Ill-advised. He loses it. Montana ball. This is Humphrey. He's down to the 11-yard line. Jason Neese headed to it. Their second consecutive national championship. But Montana is back. Down by five. Here comes Humphrey again. And Humphrey is inside the 10. Here. Loose ball. Montana recovers. And you know what? It's fourth down now. Pick up the first down. Because they figured they'd be within a yard or so if they didn't get it on third down. This makes it tougher. Montana's he... going to call a timeout. Yeah. yeah they, they don't have the confidence. They don't have the confidence in their kicking game right now. Guideline. Fourth down six for Montana. Sophomore John Edwards in for Drew Miller. Edwards on the move. He's going to keep it. Now throws it. Caught at the two. First down, Montana. Had to roll him outside, and they did a nice job of blocking the pressure on the outside. Watch him come this way. Watch the job they do right there. That's the block that got him outside. Now he can see. He's got the option, and he shot puts it out the hand top. Boy, he sure sold the run, didn't oh, he? Oh, absolutely. That's great play. Now it's first and goal. Long count from Edwards. Humphrey. He is in. Montana has the lead for the first time. Yeah, he's got to be signaling for two now. You don't even think about a PAT. You got to go for two. You got no kicking game. Two puts you up by three. It's an automatic decision here. Joe Glenn, you know, that is Joe Glenn's personality right there. In a crucial moment, he can smile. He can laugh. He is one of the... One of the coaches that yeah. you really should meet in college football. Championship game, you got to smile, has some fun. Here's the two-point conversion. Edwards to the end zone. They got the two points. Humphrey the catch. Montana has a three-point lead. Stunning developments here in Chattanooga. The juggernaut that is Georgia Southern had a 20-3 lead. And believe me, it could have easily been 40-3. But Montana's defense shut them down in the third quarter. Montana got six points and 14 quick points here in the fourth. Montana has their first lead of the ball game. And up the sideline for Georgia Southern goes Tom LaRocco. And we go down to Dave Ryan. All right, Rich, we're joined by Montana injured quarterback Drew Miller. First of all, how's the name? I popped my MCL pretty good. Uh, you know, I have to wait, waiting uh, for the swelling to go down to see what else uh, is going on in there. Pretty dramatic on the sideline watching this Grizzly comeback. What are you and John Edwards talking about down here? Uh, you know, he just needs to stay poised and uh, keep doing what he's doing. He's doing a great job. Uh, the defense is giving us some things. He just needs to take advantage of it. You think you can make this big comeback on these guys? Uh, we've been doing it all year, and uh, we talked about jailing together at halftime. And, uh, you know, we'll be all right. We're going to give him we're gonna give everything we got. Get better soon. Adrian Peterson, touchdown, Georgia Southern. Oh, man, 57 yards. Wow, Adrian Peterson. Don't forget, Georgia Southern is the defending national champion. Need you know anything more about Adrian Peterson? Need you know anything more? He's got the bad ankle, the bad elbow, mom and dad watching, and he has to come with it. And what's he do? He responds with a 57-yard touchdown run. And how in the world he saw the opening to the outside, I don't know, but he found it. Last year on his 58-yard run, he broke about eight tackles. The extra point is up and just barely good. On this one, it was his speed. Oh, the speed and the vision. Down 23 20s, and uh uh, they ain't going out like that. Gotta have a championship. Mom and Dad said, I told you, they weren't done yet. And this one is far from being done. Well, watch the vision. I mean, he's gonna break inside, but watch him find the vision to the outside of the lane. He knows, he feels it. Watch him right now. He's got a guy out there, but he feels it, and he gets outside. That key cut made it. A touchdown. That's the difference between a 30-yard pickup and a 57-yard touchdown run.
last year against Youngstown State. You saw the speed on this one. Watch the strength on this run. Oh, yeah. Well, he's got the whole package. He gives you some speed, but then when he's got to show you the power and the moves, he's got it. Right now, you can't ride me. Get off me. I'm on my way to the house. One more guy show up. Uh uh. No, 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 no. Get out of here. <laughs> Adrian Peterson delivering the blows, delivering the touchdown in this fourth quarter. And what a fourth quarter it's been. We've played barely three minutes. And there's been 21 hey, points scored in. Yeah, but you know, I got to tell you, when we heard about the ankle and the elbow and the brace. We both knew he would not come out of the ball game. Short kick. It's Molden who had the touchdown catch, and Archie Molden is still alive, and he's out to the 41-yard line. What's up? Rich, you know What's he's up, busy. You know about man. his speed. Man brings some power as well. He's an inside runner here. Watch him find it. He gets knocked around by Pedic, but that doesn't stop him. He keeps his balance. And remember, it is a bad field, bad footing. But this man keeps it and takes it all the way. Look how chewed up that field is. There's no way you're supposed to keep your balance when you get knocked around by two guys inside like that. But he keeps his balance, makes the great cut, and carries it to the house. And Montana will try to answer serve at their own 41. Edwards complete over the middle. Ferris with the catch. And he fights his way out to the 49 yard. Second down two. Humphrey into Georgia Southern Territory. And then Peterson answering with a 57 yard jump. And suddenly, in the blink of an eye, it is 27-23. Edwards throws his trip, an incomplete second down and 10. Well, Edwards has throwing lanes. He's faced second and 10. At the Georgia Southern, 46. Quick screen, Ferris. Got some blockers. Outside, out of bounds, first down, Montana. On first and ten, Edwards gonna go deep, man open, can't get it. Ferris was open and Edwards just overthrew him. Uh, again, the two deep coverage they have. Second down and ten. Humphrey to the 32. On third down today, on third and eight, Edwards a short throw. Molden caught it. Joe Glenn had the same play call that you were looking for, Rod, because they pick up about five or six. Spread them out and hit your guy inside. They've got a lot of options right now. Fourth down, three. Edwards incomplete. He overthrew Tanner Hancock. And Montana gives it up on deck. He touches it here. Uh, I, I suspect that you're not going to see Revere pitch it. Peterson straight ahead. Montana stops him. Adam Boomer made the stop. That's for the first down. The big guys looking like they've been out there. Second down. Revere still has it. Now he'll pitch it. Dropped again. Montana's got it again. A rich, that's the second consecutive pitch that's resulted in a turnover. Why they're pitching the ball under these circumstances, I don't know. I mean, we talked about this under these circumstances. And John Edwards is back to work. Edwards got a lot of green in front of him. He'll tuck it and run. And he pays the price. The tired defense out there, as Dave Ryan told us a moment ago, very tired. The reverse to Molden. He's going to throw it into the end zone. Ferris can't get there, and it's incomplete. On second down and third down short, movement and flags and whistles. Montana Southern jumped. Fleming Williams and his crew, I think, have done a nice job in this game. Excellent job. You talk about the really bad down here, Rich. Both of these men have won national championships. Edwards, 
quick throw and a catch by John Fitzgerald, the tight end, and he's... Flags hit the turf before the national championship last year. That'll cost territory. Georgia Southern is tired. Your offensive line can pound them. I think you go ahead and go at them again with Humphrey. Edwards, end zone. Intercepted. Intercepted by Ryan Haddon. It's no down territory now. Well, they're set. they will second guess themselves about that. He had a tired defense out there. You're moving the ball. Go ahead and get it. Here he is in the middle. And again, the passes down the middle, the deep passes have been a problem. They're facing a two deep once again. He's trying to squeeze it inside. And there he is. Haddon gets in there. And again, you've got a backup quarterback, and you're asking him to win the game for you when your offensive line and your running back have really, really been great. Peterson carries it to the 30, or rather to the 20. He was knocked out of this game early. Peterson straight ahead, stood up, stops. Short of the first down, it'll be third down and two. Tyler Martin, the senior out of Olympia, Washington, made the stop. Now, I know that there's a chance that Revere and three. He played some football today or what? He's got pad marks, helmet marks, all over his jersey. 144 yards and 22 carries. Timeout. Georgia Southern. Now the Eagles faced with third down and three. Movement and flags well before the snap. And Revere was just settling in behind center. Now they're pointing at Georgia Southern. Well, if one official has procedure. And you're right, Rod. Now, how about mine? And here's one guy who's a little bit clean, but he's dirty on the backside. Everybody's got to be dirty when you're playing a game like this. That's Bubba Brantley who has come in for James McCoy. Now another look at a third down situation. And they stick with Peterson. Georgia Southern wanted a face mask. You saw the official indicating there was no grab. Going. Feels like one of the gang now. Yeah, absolutely. Big punt coming up. Scott Shelton into the wind and it hangs up. Fair catch is called for, and that was almost a violation of the two yard cushion, but Oker's made the fair catch. Almost 18,000 on hand here in Chattanooga. In the rain. Edwards to the air. Got his man. It's caught right at midfield. Ferris, who had the win. Bad knee. Is finally in this ball game. Sports Center coming up immediately following. There's a look at Gates. Yep, he's just into the ball game. On first and ten, Edwards swings it out, and it's caught by Humphrey. There goes Humphrey, head over heels into Georgia Southern territory, inside the 30. It's a six. Hand it to it, throw it to him, and he makes them pay. He beats the linebacker here, picks up 16. From the 30, here's Humphrey, right side. Nothing doing. Georgia Southern with a nice stop. What's up on the sideline, Dave Ryan? They've had some amazing comebacks this year. This would rank at the very top, obviously. Blitz coming, Edwards gets rid of it. Ferris on the screen, has a block, and a lane. Inside the 20, first down, Montana. Three and a half minutes left. Yeah. Humphrey bounces outside to the 15. It's a gain of three on down here. He gets it on the draw, and Humphrey straight ahead to the 12. Third down. I'm believing in Humphrey. Third down. Edwards inside screen. Caught by Hancock, but he's in trouble. And he's dropped. He'll lose two yards. And Montana needs to stop the clock. Yep, long way to go. Fourth and a very long six. Ferris in motion. Edwards with time. Throws. Drop. Incomplete. Georgia Southern holds with 1.15 left.
Joe Scott with a hit. Here's Ferris right before the play. He's trying to get the timeout. He doesn't like what he has, but he can't get it stopped. He can't get it, and so now he's got to run the route. Not enough. Not enough. Ball thrown behind him. Joe Scott with the hit. He couldn't get the timeout. I go back to that third down call, which I didn't like, because I think you go to your key players to win the game. They had two. They went away from them. They lost two yards. It made their fourth down play tougher. There's a look at Ferris. Georgia Southern keeps it on the ground. Montana burns the timeout. They have one left. Russell revived football. Former defensive coordinator at Georgia. Built this program. Won four national titles. Johnson is seconds away from his second. Revere carries it to the 12, and Montana calls a timeout. And that ball was glued to his hand. There was no way that Revere was going to pitch that ball after having pitched it twice in the fourth quarter and caused turnovers. Ken Simonson, Oregon State. OK. All right. Georgia Southern keeps it on the ground. Like, whoa, he almost ran out of bounds. Revere's got to stay in, and he does. And let's watch the clock. The play clock will be reset when they're ready for play, and they reset the ball. Montana can't stop the clock. Georgia Southern now on fourth down is going to have to kick the ball. Well, the first thing you do is you let the clock run. And you, you try and get the time down as far as you can. And then you kick it. They may burn a timeout right at the end of it so they don't have to take the penalty. There's the play clock. But you definitely run all the time off this thing. And let's see what happens here. Scott Shelton, the punter. It's a snap. He's going to take the safety and step out of the end zone. If Montana gets a decent return here, the clock stops at the end of the return, and Montana will have a chance to get their offense on the field. Yeah, you kick a line drive kick that's difficult to field. But I think you want to kick it deep, Rod. I don't think you want to kick it short. Fifteen seconds left. Rob Baronis will do the kickoff. Not too deep and not too short. Trying to get outside is Hancock, and he gets out of bounds right at midfield. Montana has 11 seconds left. If they complete a pass, it's got to be for a first down or by the sidelines. Well, they can take their chances and throw the ball down the middle. I mean, they can throw it down the middle, get the first down, and then hurry to the line of scrimmage. There's enough time for that if they immediately get down the field, and then down the ball again. And they're going to be facing a very soft, two deep or three deep zone coverage now. Edwards, no timeouts left. Throws to the sidelines. It's deflected and incomplete. And there's five seconds left. Yeah, great job out of LeVar Rainey. That's, that's using your head. And he knows they got to go to the sideline. He knows they got to go about 15 yards. So what's he do? He sits on the outside portion of the field at 15 yards and waits for them to throw the ball right there. That's smart play. Five seconds left. Georgia Southern by two. No timeouts for Montana. John Edwards is back and set. He throws it as far as he can. And it's deflected and incomplete. And Georgia Southern has won the national championship of 1AA football. Back-to-back -back titles for Paul Johnson and his Eagles.